Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk real quickly about um, dependency injection. So I have prepared this um, this situation where the user can start payments. So he can pay someone, he can pay your service, service or something. Um, so we have this controller. I'm using Laravel as an example, and we have this store method. So the user would I don't know type an amount, uh, and he would be uh redirected to this action we would invoke this payment service we would instantiate this class which does some stuff for our, for us so let's check we have this pay method so first of all it creates a stripe gateway then it performs a payment with this gateway and it also creates a record on the database this is just a hypothetical situation but that's what our app does so we perform a payment then we create a payment in the database with the amount we received, with the user ID we received, and with the transaction ID we get from this object. I'm sorry, this object, after we perform the payment. So it works. It's something that works. We can just call the method, everything runs smoothly. What are the pro what what are the problems? I'm sorry. Um first of all, this is not really testable. If I wanted to test this um, how am I gonna like swap this implementation for a mock or a fake for instance? We can't because this is hard coded. And if we want to test this class specifically, we also can because this is hard coded. We are using the new oper operator to, to create the class. We can solve this and many other issues that we're gonna talk about in the next lesson about the container with uh, dependency injection. So I had this example right here of how it would look like with dependency injection. Right here, we are using constructor injection, but uh, we can also use method injection. Let me explain you guys what's happening. So we have this gateway contract here. Let me show you guys. It's just a contract and we would make our Stripe gateway. Just implement this. I'm sorry. And we also have a PayPal gateway that would also implement this. Um, okay, so we would have on the constructor a gateway property. Uh, we would expect a gateway. We are type hints in this with the gateway contract. So we expect any object that implements this contract, this interface. We are storing it in a property, the gateway property. And then we use the property to perform the payment. So if we use this implementation, let's swap it. If we use this implementation, we would have to pass the gateway we want to use. So something like this. And we would be able to use the same service in different places of our app. For instance, um, in a certain place, I want to use Stripe. In another place, I want to use PayPal. We just have to swap the implementation. Right now, this class is testable. We would we are able to invoke it with a different uh, gateway. For instance, we can mock a Stripe gateway, or we can mock a PayPal gateway, or we can have a fake gateway that also implements the gateway contract, and we can test this class. This class is not because we're still. Um, let's say hard invoking this class, hard instantiating. We are still instantiating with the new operator. So in the next lesson, I am gonna talk about something called um, uh, service location, which is something containers do. It's a really simple pattern and it's gonna help you guys solve lots of problems and save, <laughs> like solve lots of headaches. It's a really important thing and it's very, very useful. So. Dependency injection is just changing the control. It's an inversion of control. Instead of this, this is a dependency. The payments controller class depends on the payment service. The payment service depends on a gateway. It depends on a Stripe gateway or a PayPal gateway or anything that implements the gateway contract. So it depends on a gateway. This is a dependency. So instead of having the own class get its dependencies, we are giving it 
so it's inversion of control this class does not have control over it or it over its dependencies anymore we are giving it its dependencies right here and we could give also a PayPal gateway or anything that implements the gateway contract because that's what we expect however this class is still depends on the payment service and we are gonna solve this with the container which we are going to talk about in the next lesson not we but I am going to talk about in the next lesson see you guys later